Hi DBS, welcome back to my next video. In this video, we are going to see about the Ionic project. So I am starting in blank project. You can able to see. So I have already created the project with Ionic serve, and here I have I have create, I am creating with blank. Okay, an Angular project. So as soon as I click it, so we will get all the modules in pre-installed by the Ionic terminal so where you can able to see all the things like source ng module modules are getting installed right now so it will take some time let us wait first little bit so and then we can able to see that everything get installed Hope installation has been completed successfully right now. So everything has been done. So after doing this, so we will once we will check the module by typing ionic serve. So everything loads up, then we will go for navigation kind of thing. Okay. This is a blank project where we check each and everything. So here I got got now let me check the visual studio code let me open this code in visual studio code you can able to see that e2 e there is a folder and node modules there are folders where you can able to find node and uh, angular libraries and source is the main folder where we will be writing all the code here you have assets environments kind of assets environments theme kind of thing so in assets you will be having all your images kind of thing all images part whichever you want so all these things will be in your assets in inside your icons kind of thing in your assets and in your app there will be a right app module so basically here we have only three thing three to four things you need to understand one is module one is component and one more one more thing is html one is css and one more is routing Okay, these five modules are the heart of the Ionic or Angular basically. Okay, so I am removing all the things. So path I am keeping it empty in the routing. So routing is a place where navigation takes place. HTML is a place where you will be writing your whole code. Okay, HTML code. CSS is a place where you will be writing your CSS. Simple style, style sheet. Okay. Now let me, I have done a little bit changes in the path in routing and let me check whether we are, we are can able to generate our Ionic or not. So here you go with Ionic serve. Uh, uh, let me navigate to my folder first of all. Here I can navigate it and let me click on Ionic serve. So uh, if few after few minutes, few seconds it takes to open this live server. You will be able to see. Okay, so let me. There was an error. Let me check again. Okay. Let me start it again. Right now, compiling express so soon it will be launched. Yeah your app is ready right now so here you go 
now where we have written home kind of thing and all the modules let us navigate to the home and let us check how we have written our html so that now we will be moving towards your routing part okay so we will generate one page and then we will move to routing part so to generate a page this is the command which we you can able to see ionic generate page and the page name you need to give it okay let me open my terminal in visual studio code here you go ionic generate have created an about page okay about us page normal page so let me refresh my visual studio code so that i can get that folder kind of thing so after getting the folder we will do some modifications in the home page okay so here you can able to see in the routing module a one more path has been added if it is a blank then it is a home if i create slash about then it will navigate to about page okay so this now uh, in user will not write as a navigate so we need to write it right so we need to do it programmatically so here you go take me to navigate page i am writing in the home page of html so because from the home page it will be navigated right so that's the reason so simple i have created a router so you need to import your router module uh, here you go let me show you, you the documentation part of the router route or route you can use route also so route let me check yeah angular route simple route okay so here you go let me you need to import the route and then you need to add your path okay so whenever people click on that link or button or something some event happens then i should navigate to another path okay so do in the website simple website also right so that is the main main motto here also so here let me have an a tag here about us with a tag and here i'll give a simple function okay so whenever click is equals to in double quotes i need to write the function name all the functions in html will be written in ts module remember friends all html will be html css will be scss in css extension all the uh, html functions will be in dot ts module page dot ts home page dot ts not not normal ts it's a page dot ts because routing also is a ts typescript everything is a typescript right so that's the reason you need to understand it's a page dot ts you need to uh, you need to okay so here you can able to see how to write a function so simply so we have already written a function let us remove that a tag and mistakes and all we have removed it so right now it's in red in color because it don't know where, what is that function what i need to do with that function okay so this is the module function you should not take it in the module okay so if you write it in the module you will get an error that's the reason i shown to you it's not like any ts mod page you can add it you need to add it in the page okay page.ts home page.ts now there is no error removed from the page html and as well as from the routing and everything so now you need to import it import your router so let me copy it and paste it out for simple simplicity so here you go so now you need to write a function this dot something will be there you can able to find in the documentation part let me check it go through the documentation part and let me copy it for you here you go with the router dot navigate so router is a keyword so where i am importing it through angular router so that's the reason so you can able to see i need to in our constructor i need to write a private private key or variable which i call okay so here you go with the we have written it and here you go with the click now let us add one button so that if anyone wants to go back okay then they can navigate to back set ionic has a very great feature of default back button okay so that's the reason we can have our default back button here so let me copy this back button uh, let, let us use the basic one the back button will be in the about us page because home page will not have any back button and about page will be have a about or any other page contact page if you create any other pages then they have a back button you need to integrate in such a way that it uh, it basically suits 
so you need to see the header tag and all and these all things you need to match it and then you need to keep it that's it a small html code so we will talk in detail about the grid system of html in my next video so grid system is very easy so first basically we use grid system then only we